In this segment, we're going to talk about asteroids, neos, apollos, meteoroids, meteors, meteor showers, and meteorites. Let's get started. Let's go look at asteroids. Asteroids are small rocky worlds, most of which lie between the planets Mars and Jupiter in a belt called the asteroid belt. Here's an image from their textbook on the asteroid Vesta. The image was taken by the Dawn spacecraft at a distance of 2,700 kilometers, which is about 1,700 miles. We are looking at Vesta's south polar region, and the image is taken in the visual band. So the colors that you see are what you would see with your eyes. So Vesta has this grayish color. To give you an idea of the size of Vesta, let's compare it to the size of Earth's moon. So this large outer circle is the size of Earth's moon. And the object number four in the oval shape is the rough shape and size of Vesta. So you can see Vesta is much smaller than the size of the moon. Vesta is indeed a small rocky world. Now let's look at this asteroid belt. Here's another diagram from your textbook which plots the position of the known asteroids between the Sun and the outer orbit of Jupiter. Most of the asteroids are in the asteroid belt, which is shown in the color green. Here is the location of Mars on the inner portion of the belt, and here is the location of Jupiter in the outer portion, and you can see that the greenish area is in between most of the asteroids lie within this green region called the asteroid belt. Not all asteroids lie in the asteroid belt. Some of the asteroids lie just ahead of the orbit of Jupiter and just behind the orbit of Jupiter called the Trojan asteroids. This circle represents the rough orbit of Jupiter around the Sun in the solar system. If you look closely you'll see a clump of blue objects ahead of Jupiter and a clump of blue objects behind Jupiter which are called the Trojan asteroids. The Trojan asteroids orbit in two clouds roughly 60 degrees ahead of Jupiter and 60 degrees behind. Now Jupiter never runs into these Trojan asteroids. They just follow around in the orbit kind of like a mother duck with her ducklings. Now let's look at Neos. NEOs are near-Earth objects. NEOs are asteroids, or they could be possibly extinct comet nuclei, that have orbits that cross Earth's orbit. They can occasionally make close approaches to our planet. So in this diagram from your textbook, where you see the red circles are the NEOs. They're located in the inner solar system. NEOs also include these objects called Apollo Amor objects. Apollo Amor objects are asteroids with orbits that carry them into the inner solar system. Amor objects follow orbits that cross the orbit of Mars but do not reach the orbit of Earth. Whereas Apollo objects follow orbits that cross the orbit of Mars and the orbit of Earth. Remember, Amor and Apollo objects are asteroids, whereas Neos are asteroids or possibly extinct comet, nu comet nuclei. So therefore, Amor and Apollo objects are examples of Neos. Now let's look at meteorites. A meteorite is a meteor that survives its passage through the planet's atmosphere and strikes the ground. Here's an image from your textbook of a meteorite. So it's giving you a scale here of about five centimeters. So you can see that this meteorite is maybe 10 centimeters in diameter. It's not very big, maybe just a couple inches. But more importantly, note that this meteorite came from Vesta. Vesta is the asteroid that is in the asteroid belt. And Vesta, you'll remember, is small compared to the size of the moon, but is much, much, much larger 
than a meteorite. So this meteorite is a chip that came from Vesta, the asteroid. Now notice in the definition that a meteorite is a meteor that survives its passage through the planet's atmosphere and strikes the ground. Let's go look at meteor. A meteor is a small bit of matter that is heated by friction to incandescent vapor as it falls through Earth's atmosphere. It starts as a bit of matter and then sometimes it may just vaporize, but sometimes that bit of matter hits the ground and turns into a meteorite. Most meteors are small bits of matter. They're the size of peas, the vegetable peas. But some of them are going to be much larger than the size of a meteorite. So maybe it was many centimeters before it finally landed on the ground and became this meteorite from Vesta. But most meteors truly are small bits of matter. In this image, we can't see the, the uh, small bit of matter, but what we do see is the meteor. We're looking at the atmosphere around the, the uh, bit of matter and it's being heated by friction and you see this incandescent vapor as the small bit of matter is falling towards Earth. Well, what if we see many meteors in the sky? That would be called a meteor shower. A meteor shower is a multitude of meteors that appear to come from the same region of sky. So if we look at this astronomy picture of the day of in, tw in December 23rd, 2015, we can see that a bunch of meteors in the sky. And they all seem to be emanating. If we just connect the lines back, you can see that they all seem to be coming from the re same region of the sky. This Geminid meteor shower is coming from the constellation Gemini. So notice we see a bunch of these meteors, but we also see this particularly bright one. This bright one is called a fireball. Possibly this particular bit of matter is so large that it might actually hit the ground and become a meteorite. The other ones, the green lines that I've shown, will probably vaporize into the atmosphere. Now if we finish the definition of the meteor shower, we see that meteor showers are believed to be caused by comet debris. In this cartoon diagram from your textbook, we are looking at the orbit of a comet. We don't really see the comet in the cartoon, but we can hypothesize that possibly the comet may be located somewhere there, and this is the orbit of this particular comet. Now, as this comet orbits around the sun, it leave, leaves be Now, when the Earth crosses the comet orbit, it's going to run into a bunch of the dust in that orbit. And so what it will appear like in the night sky will be a meteor shower. So in this particular image, what we're looking at is Earth passing through this comet debris orbit. And as we're passing through it, it appears to us from the ground that these meteors are coming at us, whereas actually an Earth is, Earth is actually crossing the path of the orbit of the comet, debris. Now what do we call these small bits of matter that make up a meteor? Those are called meteoroids. A meteoroid is a meteor in space before the meteor enters the planet's atmosphere. So if this represents Earth, this green circle represents Earth, and this blue circle represents Earth's atmosphere, then a small rock in space would be called a meteoroid. As soon as that meteoroid passes into Earth's atmosphere and you start to get that blue fireball looking streak in the sky, it would be called a meteor. So your meteoroid in space turned into a meteor in Earth's atmosphere. 
Now, if that meteor had landed on the ground and you could be able to pick that up, then that meteor turned into a meteorite. So we could be talking about the same exact object. In space, the object's called a meteoroid. As it passes through the atmosphere, it's called a meteor. As you pick it up off the ground, it's called a meteorite. Now keep in mind that some meteoroids may enter a planet's atmosphere, and that atmosphere may be very thin, such as Mars's atmosphere, and it may just land on the ground. So you may not see a meteor in the sky, but that meteoroid would then become a meteorite. A meteorite means that an object that is not from that home planet. So if you had a chip off of Vesta and it landed on Mars, it would still be a meteorite to Mars.